My mother has nothing to do with this. Why would we think she does? Were you trying to imply that there's some sort of conspiracy between me and Yvonne? Yvonne? Is that what you call her? Mostly. Right. Well, no, it's just that I call my adopted mother. You were PA mom. when the previous CEO was under suspicion of fraud. Oh, well, you're trying to blame that one on me too. The ex-boss has been exonerated. There isn't anyone else. Uh, so just because you can't find the right guy, what well, I'll do? Do you honestly think we can't dig up the rest of the transactions you've made? It's tedious, but it's only a matter of time. I'd like to make a phone call, please. We did advise you to get a lawyer at the outset. You're going to need a bloody good one. If I could just have a phone! So, I leave at the end of the week. As a scapegoat? Worse. An incompetent manager. A dodgy one, even. Don't let Lawrence do this. Get a contract lawyer. What, he's firing you? Oh, my contract isn't being renewed, which is what I agreed to with Zara anyway. It was before we had a major fraud case on our hands. Look, by dumping who you now, you're making sure she'll never work in this town again. You're overstating it, Dr. Valentine. Leave it, Craig. Well, she's done nothing wrong. Hamish is... Nothing except make it easy for Hamish to rob the hospital of hundreds oh, of... Oh, you picked him for a crim, did you? I didn't work right next to him. Someone has to be held accountable. Maybe you think it was Chris. After all, it happened on his watch. Yeah, I have responsibility for this too. But let's remember, Huey and I played a large part in Hamish being caught. Yes, he didn't flee the coop. But all the money has. Can we just drop it? Only because I'll have to get back. This is not over. He'll calm down. It would be wise. What about this one of Shannon? Yeah, no, we'll give the police a couple just to choose from. Hey, are there any shots of Feto in here? How would I know, Jay? Okay, um, I might go get us some takeout. Yeah, food. That's great. Tama, we've got to keep it together, okay? For Rangi Maria's sake. If you didn't give Feto 20 grand, he wouldn't have the cash to take my daughter out of the country. Um, I've only got coins, darling. You might have to take my cash. No, 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 no. It's okay, Auntie. I'll get it. It's the least I can do. Mum, maybe I should go to Sydney and try and track them down. Sydney's a big place, Tama. And they might have moved on. I'm going to call the cops again. Hey! So, are you officially a believer now? Baxter does his churchy things. I go with him. I see more of him. Oh, yeah? And that's all it is? Well, I'm trying to be a bit more open-minded, listening to what Baxter has to say and having fun. Hmm. So I used to the same all clear. Depends how far back we're talking. <laughs> I'm not going to fight this, Craig. I won't work for Lawrence. Well, fight to clear your name, at least. It bugs me that Chris didn't back you up. Chris feels really bad about it. We know he does, and he is supporting me. Well, people like Lawrence divide and conquer. But if we all stood up to him, then Huya's career wouldn't be heading for the toilet. Chris will do what he can. Believe me, he regrets backing Lawrence. Yeah, he knew what he was like. Drop it, Craig. It's not the time or place, OK? I'm leaving my job. I don't want to leave my friendships with it. Hello? Havon. <clears throat> it's me. Hamish. How are you? Uh, good. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you still at the police station? Uh, yeah, afraid so. What have you told them? Well, there's nothing to tell, is there? Anyway, uh, it's probably wise to talk to a lawyer. Sounds like a good idea. Could you organise one for me? Of course. Uh, Hamish, are you going to plead not guilty? Because perhaps... I'll do whatever it takes to see that I don't spend the next ten years in jail. Uh, you can understand that, right? Of course. i better get you the lawyer. probably be aware that uh, they'll talk to you again just tell them what they need to know eh? I understand uh, they might say things lies to, to trick you just uh, you know stay strong I'll try all right but 
Thanks. I love you. All right, then. You too. Is that Hamish? He wants a lawyer. <laughs> I bet he does. I'm sorry, Yvonne, but Hamish had it coming. You haven't proved anything against him. Yvonne, he lied to me. He lied to all of us. I better get that lawyer. Hey. Oh, hey. Nice designs. Just doodles. You like your coffee black now? Very stylish. I always have it like that. Okay. I'll just go. How's it? Hey. You want to buy me a coffee? Have that. Do you drink your coffee black now? Do you have a problem with that? No. Just asking. Just a bit full on for me, that's all. Nice drawings. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting a tat. <laughs> Are you serious? What about your dad? Like I'd tell him, he'd probably kick me out. Oh, then we'll both be on the street. Don't ask. They should ban families, they only stuff you up. Hello, Yeti. How's it? Since when do you drink black coffee? <laughs> You said we were going to a church. We are. This is it. Baxter, this is a tree. Yeah, and God made it. Come on, let's see. You're a hippie. There you go. Oops. Okay. Man, I love this spot, eh? Just get to sit here and watch the birds and the bugs. Yeah, and the ants. Them too. Okay, so nature's cool, and God created it. But what about all the bad stuff in the world? We created a lot of it. But what about stuff like tsunamis and earthquakes? Doesn't it put a dent in your faith when 100,000 Pakistanis die? I guess I just struggle to know what God wants me to do about it. Well, your church put on that fundraiser. Yeah, but it hardly seems like enough, though, does it? But at least you're doing something. Would you like to do something? What, like sausage sizzle for those in need? Yeah. Or you could just keep on coming to church for the music. Hey, uh, when you were a teenager, did you go through a time when you were a miserable, self-obsessed little drama queen? Ah, has Scarlet hit that difficult phase? Oh, there's nothing I can do or say that doesn't aggravate her. I could win a Nobel Peace Prize and she'd be like, what, only one? Oh, was it something to do with Jake leaving? Yeah, but it's got any more to it than that. Well, then when she's ready to talk, you listen. And throw in a bribe, it always worked with Daniel. No, I don't believe in bribes. Rewards, maybe. Very high-minded. We'll see how you cope with another week of death stares and big size then, won't we? Mrs. Jeffries. Yes? I wonder if now would be convenient to have a chat. I've got a car and a driver out the front. I really can't tell you anything, you know. Well, you'd be surprised at how the little details can help us. Uh, Yvonne, would you like me to get Tanya or Maya to go with you? No, no, I'll be fine. There's no need to bother them. Right. Lead on, Detective. <laughs> 